So I'm going to be using my Milk Makeup Blur Stick. And this is supposed to help with minimizing pores and stuff like that. Yeah, just being honest with being a brand rep or having affiliate links and stuff like that. I'm happy that there's a discount code for the... I'm happy that there's a discount code provided to my followers, subscribers, whatever you want to call it. Because, you know... I personally don't like buying things full price. I like to be to get some type of discount, tax, shipping, something like you know. So the fact that you guys are gonna get twenty percent off for shopping with Glossier, and then I do get a small portion of that. That's amazing, you know. And I don't even get twenty percent of whatever you buy, you know. So. It still works out for the best. I get a little cut. I talk about products that I do enjoy, and then you get a discount, and then hopefully you enjoy the products as well. Well, Sierra seems to be a good company. Seems to have good integrity. I like the concept of the company. Natural, beautiful. They have different um, complexions rocking their products. I see that on the website, so they do have diversity. They can probably go a little darker, or you know what I mean, but... Also, I reached out to Glossier recently because I wanted to talk to them about possibly modeling. And I'm not a model, but I feel like because I'm a part of the company now, I feel like I can inquire about things that do relate to me. And being that people that relate to me most likely have the same skin concerns as me, whether they have acne, whether they have dark marks, whatever the case is. Um, that was kind of like the number one question that people were asking me, like, okay, how does the product work for you, being that you have a certain type of skin? And I'm like, they work well. Like, I don't have any allergic reactions nor anything that has happened since I've been using the products. But I would love to see more diversity as far as skin types on the website because everyone has nice skin and everyone has clear skin so I basically reached out to them asking them if they can probably either have me being that I was you know inquiring have me be a model for a campaign or something like that since I have acne prone skin and show that there's diversity um, there's diversity in the company with people with different types of skin because not everyone has clear skin and sometimes people with acne prone skin they want to wear natural things they want to wear things that are effortless and make things easier nobody wants to go to mac or you know and put on a whole bunch of makeup sometimes you want to look natural as well which you can like i'm using drugstore foundation right now but what i'm trying to say is what if someone with my skin type wants to rock glossier and I don't know if you guys seen that video that I made initially. I used a skin tint and the skin tint was not full coverage. It was very, very thin. It literally is a pigment. Like it's not anything beyond that. So it was like I was just putting on color on my face. I wasn't putting on anything that's going to help with coverage or anything like that. So it was kind of pointless until I put the powder on top. And that's when I started to see much of a difference. But other than that, it was basically just pigment on top of my face. So there's nothing wrong with that. But if you have acne prone skin, you have like acne scars and stuff like that. Things like that are not going to be effective on you. And it's kind of pointless, you know. So for someone like me that doesn't know Glossy and they tried it, they'll be kind of disappointed because they're going to be like, oh... Well, it didn't really do anything to my skin, but make my marks look weird because now I have this color on my face and there's no coverage. So it's pointless. I reached out to them asking them if I can possibly model or if there can be someone that can model with my skin type so I can be able to show the people that are buying from me or buying from Glossier with my link. Um that there is diversity and you can use the products even though you have a certain skin type, you know? Because if you're gonna use a product that doesn't work for you, what's the point of spending your money, you know? So, I spoke to them about that because I just felt some type of way about that. 
but I still feel like it is a good company. I just wish that they had diversity with the skin types. Because you can see they tried with the skin tones. Like, there's one... There's like a couple... There's, I think there's two or three dark skin girls on the website. No, there's one dark skin girl, like a medium tone. And I think the rest were like Caucasian. And I think an Asian girl. Can't really recall. But something along those lines. So if they can broaden their skin tint complexion line. As well as make more people that have different skin types whether you have cystic acne regular acne acne scars you know if you're a burn victim whatever the case is people like that are not going to be able to rock gloss here because of the well besides their skincare and their lip gloss obviously but if they if they have things like that they're gonna have to amount to either drugstore makeup mac or sephora and as a company that you want to be able to gravitate towards a broader audience, you have to make sure that you are you are catering to people with different skin concerns so that it's not limited. Because it's like it, it makes it a little bit harder for me to advocate for some a company that doesn't have products that specifically cater to people of not people of color, but people with acne prone skin and problematic skin and stuff like that. So that's my little rant on that. Um, I just want to make sure that I don't look stupid out here, you know? So I'm not going to use powder all over my face. I'm just going to set the areas that usually crease. Because when I went to the dermatologist, she said to not use too much powder. Because the powder clogs my pores. And I don't want that because that's what causes breakouts. So I'm just using my Fit Me powder and cocoa in order to set my under eye and my small lines. So I'm going to look a little dewy today because I have to work on my skin and make sure my skin is clearing up. I can't be out here clogging up my pores and shit. So it's going to set without putting extra powder on my face. And then I'm going to contour with my Morphe palette. And this is pretty much my makeup look for when I go to work and stuff like that. Cause I don't really like to look too done up for work. Being that I work in a hospital and being too done up, it's not necessary. But I do like Glossier. I do enjoy, you know, working for them and being able to explore with different products I still have to buy my own products from them like I bought the lip gloss and I'm really excited for that like so it's not like I'm gonna be on their PR list where they're gonna be sending me like free stuff I do get perks eventually but you have to work for stuff like that so once I get there I will let you guys know I'll keep you guys updated on that but let me add some highlight hold on I'll let you guys know about that. That's my little rant on Glossier. If you want to shop Glossier and you want to use my 20% off code, you can. I don't know why I'm adding highlight. I'm being super extra because I'm definitely going to be glowy today. With that radiant primer that I put on from Lancome and the Super Glow from Glossier, definitely going to be dewy dewy as hell but it is what it is if you want to shop glossy here you can use the link in my description box you're gonna get 20 percent off so definitely check them out i always recommend the masks i never tried the mat the moisturizers yet i know the serums are really really good um the gloss looks really really glossy and i love gloss and what else i want to try the boy brow but i don't really need it because i already fill in my brows and i don't have natural brows so i don't know i'll think about it i'll see how it is just to test it out and see but what else um they have a stick highlighter that i want to try as well i think i'm going to order that next and i think that is it as far as my favorites I really liked I wanted to like the skin tint but because I still have to put on a full coverage powder it really doesn't make a difference like but that I honestly think that's gonna be like my summer thing like I'm gonna wear it in the summertime because 
I know that I'm not going to want to wear too much like foundation or anything like that. That's going to be my BB cream in the summertime. And then if anything, I'll just put on a powder on top. But other than that, um, they still have a lot to work on as far as like diversity. But the lip balm, mad good. This is my good. You know when they have lip balms that they say it's coconut or cherry and it literally tastes like shit? Like, this actually smells and tastes kind of good. So, I like this. This is really good. I'm going to put on some mascara. I just recently bought another mascara because I've been out for a long time. So, that's the reason why I haven't been wearing mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal. And this is my favorite mascara, like, ever. Ever, ever, ever. Love this mascara to death. Mad affordable real good makes my lashes look nice and long and wispy but that is it for this look very natural no makeup makeup look type shit um this is my everyday look for when i go to work try to make it very simple and natural where it doesn't look too excessive because i don't need any you know any looks and stares because i don't like that <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat um and make sure to check the description box for the 20% off coupon. And um, if you have any questions as far as any products you're concerned about trying, you don't know if it's your shade, what you should do, if it's a go, if it's a no. Like, if you have any questions regarding Glossier, just leave them down below. And I will talk to you guys in my next video.